Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 2 Supreme Jerk Edition. <coughs> Today, we will be trying to get better uh, red suits and I will explain my party. As you all know, I'm a one kind of guy, meaning I don't differ in my parties. Why? Let's assume we have two infighters and two sharpshooters, for example. The plan is simple, the two infighters run forward and in theory the two sharpshooters would give cover fire. Where is the problem with that? We're playing Supreme Jerks. Those two guys will get all the concentrated fire of the enemies, which will they will survive, I think, about 20 seconds. If they will last that long. So that is not a good idea. What I want is troops that are all in one spot, meaning far behind as possible. Why am I not using four sharp two shooters then? Well, we're playing Supreme Jerk. I'm doing only half the damage, so I must assume that my enemy will get through to me sooner or later, and then I must have a weapon that is able to deal with enemies even at closer ranges. Now, you ask, what, Boris, why are you not using two weapons? A sharp shooter, um, sharp shooter rifle, and a machine, submachine gun, for example. Well, because it will take me two weapon skills to learn and that are a lot of skill points so the best thing is to go for an assault rifle in my opinion the best thing is to go for an assault rifle because it can do both it sh shoots nearly as far as a uh, sharpshooter rifle it does far more damage than a sharpshooter rifle because it fires three times and even at close range that thing can do miracles so that is the reason I'm using that weapon and the, user, the reason I'm not splitting, splitting up is because I don't want one character to get all the damage I want the damage equally um, shared upon my soldiers and that is best to happen when you are not concentrated on one point uh, when you're standing all in the same distance I mean so um, about the stats I tried, when you looked at the previous uh, Let's Plays, to get all for Strength and Intelligence. Why? Because Strength gives you a bonus per level on your hit points. That means take it up to 10 as fast as possible, probably right from the start, and you'll get the maximum life points out of it, right? Yes, with most of the games, like Fallout and that sort of games. But here, the problem is, we're playing Supreme Jerk life points will not save us the enemy is doing double the damage one shot and all that points gained it from that are gone second is i got for intelligence to get maximum skill points right from the start good plan as well because you get most skill points per level everything that is per level must be up as soon as possible or right from the start at best the problem is you will end up with a ton of skill points and nowhere to spend them Unless you're going for three weapons and every character should be able to do anything from opening saves to, well, doing right anything else. So, I go for speed and awareness. Why do I do that? Because this gives me combat initiative and movement on the battlefield. Combat initiative means I act before the enemy can act, I can kill the enemy before the enemy can kill me and I can move on the battlefield as I want. I can get away from the enemy if the enemy prefers close combat. I can get to the enemy if the enemy has a higher range than I have. So that's the reason I want combat, aware I want awareness and speed up as maximum. Why didn't I take that to 10? Well, because it makes only one point difference. And speed, strength, and intelligence together uh, determine your action points. And I want to have more action points than with the last tries. That's the reason we have coordination so high up. We can get five points over all the levels because for every tenth level you get one point, one attribute point to share. So as we're going up f to level 50, I put coordination to level 5. So, with level 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50, I should be able to get coordination up to 10, which means I will have, um, where is it, where are my action points, 9, I will have 11 action points. Why is that great? Because 
um, when you wait a turn you get two action points if you have more than three points left from the last action that means I will have 13 action points actually now there are items in the game that give you one additional action points that brings me up to 14 action points that means I can fire my assault rifle in auto in full auto mode mode twice so here's the idea we act first because we have speed and awareness up to maximum we fire once keep the points for the next round get the next point be round before the enemy can do anything and then fire our assault rifle twice in auto mode so we will have three shots of auto mode damage before the enemy can all act only once and as all four characters are built this way exactly this way I can do this four times that means I fire four times three bursts with my assault rifles and that's ladies and gentlemen is the idea of this party I will have very low skill points it will be enough with level 50 to get this up to level 10 and two skills to level well eight uh, three skills to level eight which is enough there are items that gives you two points so level eight will be enough with the other skills only the attack skills the weapon skills cannot be altered by items as far as I know so let's talk to Rick now this is a guy that knows where the red suits are and it's our job to get him to give them to us for reasons unknown to me we're not hearing any sound I don't think this is good well we're hearing sounds but they're not talking okay this guy uh, is not that cooperative as you might think we could pay you uh, he wants his freedom um, no deal okay we have to give him his freedom it's not that we have a choice and he lets him out because the guy stinks so now we'll take this guy to where the red suits are <coughs> and that will be there Rick's RV and we get experience out of it so let's move it um, you might ask yourself why I'm not going for animal companion for example he has animal companion she has animal companion but I'm not training that skill because whatever you get as animal companions they don't live long either you get a fighting one which which will simply charge right on the enemy and get killed within seconds or you get a squishy one which has just one life point and will die within seconds so I'm not a fan of this animal stuff then there is the question why I'm not taking any close weapons well because we're playing supreme jerk we will not live long enough to do anything that have to do with close combat <coughs> um, anything that is doing close combat in Supreme Jerk is so strong that you will not survive you're doing half damage they're doing double damage so everything that is in for close combat will simply annihilate you before you can do anything um, Ralphie no no that was a little overkill so where are the enemies where are the enemies where are the enemies I see one here oh he splattered okay I have no idea where the others are does anyone see the rest of the enemies I surely don't we go into assault mode and when he stacks his no nose out he will get killed for sure that's the nice with this high initiative it's just marvelous Ralphie is a little bit slow but that's understandable Ralphie has not been configured by us 
Ralphie is not the elite killer that he could be. If we would have trained him right from the start. So to me, my NPCs are more mules than fighters. They have some fighting abilities, yes, but primarily they're just mules. They're carrying stuff and providing skills. I could have given Scotchmo an old rifle, but actually I need his skills with opening um, doors and saves more than I need his firepower. Besides, there are some good... Um, Shotguns in this game. Not incredible good. No, you cannot go. You stay with the team. Oh, look at this. What? Of course, soon. I hope that he don't get nuts. Woohoo! Whatever that was, it was dead before it could act. I think it's some kind of lizard. Okay, you go there. We get on auto. Isn't that just marvelous? Oh, come on! Ah, uh, oh well. Who cares? So, you get on that, you get here, and then you get on ambush. And he will kill himself, for sure. Done. Isn't that party a beauty to behold? Um, there is nothing else for us, sadly. So if you have any questions to my party composition and why I did it that way, just ask. I hope I have explained it. It depends on that the whole build is around combat initiative. Oh, you might ask why am I building it that way and so soon. Because the combination is 733. Nice. So, red suit, strength 4. Um, the point is, in most games, your attributes also affect your combat effectiveness. Um, the, your skills affect uh, your combat effectiveness more than with one skill. For example, you have a dodge skill, you have an, an endurance skill for hit points, you have a skill to war wear armor more effectively. This is all not the case here. There is only one skill here that influences your combat effectiveness and that is your weapon skill. So there is no reason in p piling up skill points for combat reasons because the only thing that affects your combat abilities are these ones, these attributes. So as your skill points only affect in one condition, under one condition, your combat, and that skill can be, well, relatively easily maxed, I decided that it's not important to get such a high intelligence to get so many skill points because I don't need so many skill points. What I need to be combat effective, and the real threat here are the enemies in Supreme Jerk, not the riddles. Um, that was the reason I decided to go for attributes rather than skill points. This is a skill point, uh, this is an, an combat, a combat build. Not a hit point build, a tank build, not an intelligence build. It is a pure and simple attack and combat build to the attributes. Because the rest is not helping you any, sadly. I missed that a little. Normally there is a dodge skill and, well, a critical skill or combat armor skill or something like that town skill whatever nothing of that exists here there is only one skill and that is the uh, the weapon skill that comes into play when combat starts so don't depend on skills when it comes to fighting it won't help do you any good so in theory in theory we could go and 
visit the railroad camp, the Norman railroad camp. The only problem is I don't think I have enough um, skill with the tongue, sweet talk and all that. Yeah, we drag his sorry ass back to the brick, sir. He deserves it. He's a traitor. He's terrible. I hope he does not get nuts. That would be sad. We could make some extra experience points by... This smells like my house here. Yeah, that tells us a lot. Woohoo! Lock him up. And we get 30 XP's for that. That is not much. Rick, now you're back in there, but I have what I want. And I can now easily move around on the map. Oh, we've got some shit. We can give the shit to him. Maybe buy some more heavy weapons. That might be an idea. Or is there any weapon or anything that I can use? Woohoo! No, he has a lot of shit, but that's it. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, we can ask the doctor. I pretty much doubt that the doctor has anything for us, but we can ask. What we really need is something that boosts our kiss ass or our smart ass. Don't care what, sh what of that, but he only sells that leadership thing. It's a shame. Okay, all our guys are totally healed up. So no problems here. We can sell some junk. And who has the weapons to dismantle? I think he has. So I want you to strip it for parts. Yay! Broken weapon parts! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. So, sell that. All of them. Sell all junk. Wonderful. Sell the radiation suits. He's not buying that, obviously. Okay, I'm not happy with that. Hard as is not helping us any. Hmm. We can sell that. Can we really not sell this rat suit? No. We have a lot of stuff. We could buy 1,000, yeah, but then we're broke. On the other hand, what do we need? Ammunition! Woohoo! Goodbye. Yeah, you can never have enough shots. Oh, wait, wait, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Maybe this guy has something for us. It's always possible, always possible. Um, the guy's still there. Requisition? No, nothing. Ah, it's a shame. Okay. How many experience points do you need for next level? <sighs> a lot. We have to kill three, four, no, six. Actually, we would have to kill six groups of evildoers to get the necessary experience to him for him to level up. Don't think we can pull that off. So there is only one thing we can do, and that is get our asses up here to the oasis and then to Rail Norman's camp. We have no longer a problem with um, the radiation. We're wearing the best radiation suits possible at this moment, and they are more than capable to deal with the radiation here. 
So, yeah, look at this. Radiation, no problem. Yeah, if we were, if we were to come through there simply um, with the old suit, we would get a, we would have got killed, or at least badly wounded. Oh, dangerous raiders! Yes, 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 yes. Do you see any dangerous raiders? I sure as hell don't. Okay. That's a gunslinger. Uh, get down. Ah, crap. That was not good. We might get wounded now. Yeah. Just what I thought would happen. Miserable, miserable. If I do that, I will hit myself. Yeah, I knew it. I totally knew it. Miserable, right from the start. Stand up. I should never have crawled. That was simply a dumb idea. Well, I should have fired better. Uh, just great. Go here. Go single fire. Oh, boy. This is not an army. This is a catastrophe. I want you to go here. I want you to go here. I want you to go there. And I bet he will hit me badly. Yay! 40% and I didn't hit once. So much for math. Okay, this is not math. This is ridiculous. This is simply ridiculous. You know what? I stand myself right close to him. Uh, if I do that, I could go here. You're, you're kidding me. I didn't hit myself for 150 damage, did I? Look at this. The enemy is not doing any damage to me. I'm doing the damage all to myself. Simple as that. Oh boy. I think I should... No, no, no. I think we should go right, right back forget that that ever happened and heal ourselves up at the Ranger Citadel. Man, that was ridiculous. I just did 100 damage to myself. I, do, I did nearly 200 damage to myself. Oh. Oh, but that's my luck. Well, I will go to... Atchison camp, of course, because that's quicker. 
and then I'll stop it here and we'll see each other next time when I've decided if we go back or if we do it that way. See you then. Bye.